with a new video painting pink flowers in watercolor. Uh, we start with a little sketch of our flowers just to get the tonal values in place and establish our lights, darks and midtones. Then I start sketching the flowers lightly onto the watercolor paper, uh, making sure I place uh, the big shapes first of the flowers and only then I fill in some of the details. Some of the colors I'm using today are shell pink, permanent rose and vermilion, paint gray, ultramarine blue deep, as well as some cobalt teal. I'm also going to be using some of the greens from my palette. I start with spraying water on my paper uh, to wet the flowers in some areas. And then I start with a weak solution of uh, shell pink and I lay down my lights onto the flower, leaving some whites for highlights. Using a weak solution of uh, violet, I lay down the shadow area carefully around the flower and also use a little bit of cobalt blue to add some variation to the shadows. Using a mixture of uh, vermilion and permanent rose, I'm creating the center folds and the petals of the rose. You can use a round brush or an angular brush here. With some practice, one can create some really nice organic shapes out here that represent the center of a flower. Uh, in the center, it is much more denser and the tonal value is darker. And as we move away from the center, the grooves become much more bigger and lighter. Next, I'm using a slightly more thick mixture of the same colors to create a little more density in the center. Using cobalt blue from my palette, I'm now gently filling in the background, very carefully using negative painting, outlining the flower shape to get a nice easy outline. And now, while the blue is still wet, I'm dropping in darker tones using paints gray and ultramarine blue with a hint of uh, permanent rose into that blue uh, to create the darker tones. I'm also using negative painting to paint a bit around some of the leaves that I've drawn earlier. You can create some interest into the background washes by adding some pinks and some greens in places.
adding some cobalt tea now to the background. Whenever I want to soften an edge or a, of a wash or of the flower, all I have to do is wet my brush, wipe off the excess water and use this damp brush to soften you know, any of the edges of the washes. Here I'm adding some greens and some burnt sienna to give a little bit of warmth to the wash. I'm using the same colors as before for creating the rosebud. Then using negative painting again, I paint around the bud, finishing off the background. using cool colors to add some shadows to my rose. At this stage, I'm just adjusting some of my dogs. You can use a rigor brush or a brush with a very fine point to add some of the stems now around the leaves, joining them and creating a bit of a flow. I'm now using this technique called glazing 
uh, in which you can use very thin paint to adjust some areas in your painting where you want to adjust the color or maybe the depth. But do ensure that the paper is dry when you do glazing. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. And you can leave me a comment in the comment box below uh, if you have a particular flower you'd like me to paint next. If you want to be informed of my next video, do subscribe to my channel. Bye for now and thanks for watching.